In this video, I will show you how to install AJ Grid and use AJ Grid from a React project. We will create a grid that imports data from the HTTP call where the columns can be stored and filtered. We will also allow the user to select rows and we will use Enterprise Edition to add grouping to our data. So let's get started. First, I'm going to open my terminal, which is Bash since I'm on a Windows machine. Then I'm going to run npx create react app and uh, I'm just going to call it my app. Next, I'll cd into my app and open it through the ID of my choice, VS Code. Next, let's run the project. Uh, this is, we have our bullet plate ready for React app. Now let's install our ajgrid dependencies. I'm just going to open a second terminal here. And uh, I'm just going to copy npm install dash dash save ajgrid community and ajgrid uh, react from our website. ajgrid community is the free version of ajgrid and ajgrid react allows us to use it as a component. And uh, please remember to add dash dash save so ajgrid is saved in package.json. Next, I'll uh, delete everything in app.js so we can start fresh. Let's import React and uh, use state and ajgrid uh, React component and ajgrid structural and theme CSS. Now that we have all the dependencies, let's create a functional component and make our grid. First, I'll define some uh, column definitions which will correlate to our row data. And uh, first, I'm going to define a field which will also appear as the column header. Let's make some more columns. And now we'll just hard code some row data. You'll notice that make model and price correlate to the column definitions. Next, we'll return a div. We'll assign the theme to the div through the class name. I'll just copy the theme name from the link. Also, the width and height of the container will determine a grid size. So let's set the height to 400 and width to 600 pixels. Inside the container, we're going to nest the AJ Grid React component, which we imported and pass it to our row data and column definitions. Now we should have a fully functional AJ Grid. Let's have a look. There we go, perfect. Now, some of the most commonly used AJ Grid features are sorting and filtering. I'll start by adding sorting for demonstration by simply adding sortable true and the column definitions. I wish to have the feature. Now let's have a look at our grid. Uh, if we click on a header, we can see that an arrow appears and that column has been sorted. By holding down shift, we're able to sort by multiple columns and you can see the order displayed in the headers. To enable filtering, we will add filter flag to our column definitions. Now when we'll go back to the grid, there will be a filtering menu uh, where there's input field and several different filtering options. Next, we are going to comment out the row data since you're more likely to fetch it from an API or a server rather than hard coding. Now let's create fresh row data state and set it to an empty array. Import use effect from React. So we can use a browser API fetch inside use effect to download and set row data state. So now when we have a look at our grid, you can see that there's many more rows. So let's add more things to our grid. For example, uh, row selection. This property takes a string. It can be a word multiple or single. And when you go to the grid by clicking on a row, it's selected. If you hold control, you can select multiple different rows. And if you hold shift, you can select a range of rows. Next, uh, we are going to access the selected rows through grid API. So first let's import uh, use a ref from react next let's uh, create a variable we'll just call it grid ref and now let's just pass this to our uh, aj grid react component next uh, we're going to make a button so we're going to access the api on a button click so we're going to access the uh, selected rows Next, I'm just going to write the on button click function. We will access the selected nodes through a grid API. To get to grid API, we'll have to use grid ref. So grid ref that current API and the function get selected nodes. Once we have the nodes, we'll simply map over them to get the data. 
and then we'll make a nice uh, string presentation and alert it to the screen. And before we jump into the demonstration, I'll quickly add some checkboxes to the first column by typing checkbox selection true. Now you can see we have some checkboxes. Let's select some rows by using those as well as our previous method. And let's get our selected rows alerted on the screen. There we go. Now I'm going to run npm install dash dash save AJ Grid Enterprise. This will unlock AJ Grid's enterprise features. You're invited to try them out for yourselves and uh, come back to us for a license if you wish to use it in your project. I'll just finish off importing AJ Grid Enterprise and let's have a look at the grid. So now grid has been transformed. We have a more advanced uh, header menu which can be fully customized. This is a set filter and uh, you can also hide uh, columns through this menu as well as well as uh, do some sizing and other things. And you also get access to a context menu now. There are some export functions there and it's uh, fully customizable. You can see the details in our documentation. Now let me just remove this old row data and let's do some row grouping next. I'll just type row group true on first column instead of checkboxes. Now this will add a group column to the start of our grid which we will configure through auto group column devs. Now let's quickly time that up. Next I'll import use memo to go with auto group column devs. So first of all, I would like to see the uh, model in our group column uh, leaf nodes. And next we'll add some checkboxes to uh, the group column as well and enable the ability to select group rows children by ticking the group nodes checkbox. Now, as you can see, our rows being grouped by model. All the rows have checkboxes. We can still individually select the leaf rows and by clicking on the group row, it doesn't even have to be open. You can select everything that's in it. And that's it. You have seen how to install AJ Grid with React, pull in data from an HTTP call. We added sorting and filtering simply by adding properties to the column definitions. We added row selection and used Grid API to access data in the grid. Also, you saw an overview of Enterprise Edition features and how to add grouping to our data. Thanks for watching.